Our last video in this section is going to touch on a topic called a bit field. A bit field is generally only used when you're manipulating uh, bits of a register and you're going to then uh, store that register data back out to a, a device or, or read from a port and write to a port. Bit fields allow you to create a structure and then allocate out one bit of a word at a time and then when you run off the end of a word you start with another word and start using up uh, more bits of that word so you can use a uh, you can have a number of bits defined in a bit field and uh, you know quite a few actually especially if you're doing say the flags of, of a TCP IP header or something like that where you have a couple of bytes uh, of bits of data that you want to uh, to be able to look at individually. So it's a lot easier than masking and XORing and ANDing and doing things like that that we saw way back in the beginning. Here's how you create a bit field. Uh, not that you're ever going to have to, but uh, here's how you do it. Uh, you use the keyword struct, just like we did with a normal structure, and a tag, open brace, and then we have an unsigned integer, and this we're going to call it bit zero. This is the variable name. It can be whatever you need it to be, normal variable name, and then a colon and the number of bits that are assigned to this first uh, variable. So that's uh, just one bit there, bit one and bit two, they're each one bit. So we're only going to take up three bits. Now it's all, this is all implementation uh, dependent, whether we uh, consume a byte of storage here or an entire word of storage. Uh, where are these bits? Are they the rightmost bit of the byte? Are they the leftmost bit? All of that is uh, dependent on the machine and the implementation of the compiler. The variable name will be called bit field, and the bit field will work just like a structure. You'll have bit field dot bit zero, dot bit one dot bit two and you can either set it to one or zero you can turn the bit on or off by saying it true or false one or zero so bit field dot and then the member if you create a pointer to this thing that's fine as well and then you use the arrow dot bit zero bit one bit two okay so those are bit fields again esoteric little things that are available in C because C is such a low level system language and it can be used uh, down tight to the hardware. We want to give you uh, these sorts of structures that you can you can work on the hardware with. So that's a bit field.